For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. In the first of the two main books for which I'm remembered, The Master and His Emissary, um, I, in the second half of the book, I looked at the history of the West through the prism of what we knew about the hemispheres and saw that three times we'd started off in Greece and in Rome with a very beautiful symbiosis and synergy of what the left hemisphere gives and knows and what the right hemisphere gives and knows, always with the right hemisphere taking under its aegis the left hemisphere. It needs to be the master. The emissary goes and does work for the master. It doesn't really understand the importance of it. It does it. It does computation. Then it brings the results back to the master. But at the end of these civilizations, they became more and more bureaucratic, devitalized, categorical rather than subtle. Um, and effectively, the life, the magic, the imagination, the spirit went out of the civilizations and they collapsed. And I'm afraid that what I see very, very vividly is in the last <coughs> couple of hundred years, and particularly accelerating in the last hundred, and even more in the last 30 or 40, that we are moving into this world in which things are atomistic, static, certain, known, black and white in their nature, disembodied, abstract, categorical, and really only representations of the reality. That word representation is important because at first the world is present to us, or even better, presences to us, which is a, a locution used by philosophers after Heidegger, which I rather like, the suggestion that there's an activity in that the world comes to our presence. And the representation is literally an attempt to make it present after the fact when it is no longer present. And that's what you have when you have a map, a theory, an abstraction, and we live nowadays in the world of maps, theories, abstractions. We don't seem to look out of the window and say the world's not at all like that. But if we do, that's what we'll see. So that is, uh, in brief, what I feel we're suffering from at the moment. <laughs>